Hey YouTube, John here again with a quick sensor cleaning video. Um, basically, I took the I, I can't take another picture today because the uh, sky's really crap. You can download a chart uh, uh, from the internet which you can display on your screen and you can photograph that to see where your sensor marks are. But I use the blue sky and I shot this at f22 or 32 and as you can see there's dots, uh, a fair few dots on it. But if you go to, um, basically what you do is photograph the sky, blue sky if you can. Um, set your focus to infinity on your lens. Um, F22, F22 will do it, but if you can get um, a good enough shutter speed, try F32. Open it in a Photoshop if it's a raw file, go to curves and auto it. And that will give you something like this nearly every time when you use the blue sky. And as you can, you can see all these small little smidges here on my sensor. But the main ones are the darker ones like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, so if we turn it back off again, that'll give you a quick look of what's on your sensor. Now, in all fairness, if you look at that, that you want all them dots that you just seen when you went like that. Don't ever try to get all them off your sensor because you won't do it. Right? You just won't do it. Um so, but if you look at it like this, you can see I've got one, two, three, four, you might not better see them, five, six, seven. I've got about eight or nine bits. Well, there's probably a few more in the more I look. Probably about eight or nine bits the more I look. Um, so, obviously my sensor needs cleaning. Um, so if we quit, for a shot. Hey YouTube, and here's John with a sensor cleaning video. Um... I'm actually, I've actually recorded this video once and done it once with the last swab that I had. Um, so, unfortunately, and I looked back at it and when I was showing some things, what I was doing with the camera, it, 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 was, it wasn't in the way of the video camera, which I felt wasn't good enough for the novice. So I've had to, I'm going to pre-record it again now, but I, I haven't got a swab. So I'm just going to go through the motions, but I'm not actually going to clean the sensor for the basic simple reasons it is clean so let me just rotate this screen so I can see what I'm doing so just have a look so far oh, I can see my screen this time I'm not actually going to rotate it up as well oh no it's going upside down um, so the first things first you need a gitso blower or a blower now I'm not going to take long about it but you need to blow give your camera a good flow all over to blow all the dust away from it and blow the, the, the surface that you're using as well and give your camera a good blow all over now I've already done mine but you can blow it everywhere so there's no dust anywhere and as well what I would do is I take your lens cap off and I would also give that a blow a good blow then you can put it back on now when you've done that, I mean there's plenty of other cleaning procedures you can do when you've got this cap off. You can get a, a cotton bud and clean inside, but today it's just a quick sensor cleaning video. Um, so basically what I usually do, I take this off then, and I will give it an additional blow inside with the camera slightly tilted down, and give it an additional blow all around there. Now I'm not going to take forever for it. Now, the reason for that is before you expose your sensor you want to blow the dust that's already in there hanging around so that's why it's nice to blow that first now if we go into our menu system and turn your camera on I don't know how you do yours I'm now going to go into the sensor cleaning and tell it that I want to clean manually and I'm going to it OK now the sensor's just gone so the sensor's locked up now I'm going to take the cap off and I'm going to do the same thing again, hold the camera slightly downwards and I'm going to give the sensor a good blow. And then I'm going to turn the camera off and put the lid back on. Now, you could actually test your sensor and have a look at it by the method that, I've, that you'll have watched before you actually watch this part of the video and see if it's clean enough for you. Most of the times this little method here will clean your sensor enough and you'll be alright but if it doesn't work it's when you need to go into a swab so for the swab procedure I'm going to show you how to do it but obviously I'm not going to do it because I've already done it 
great YouTube I've got a bit more of a close up on the camera now for this next thing so basically you will need um, a swab uh, this is from Easy Dust and you get you basically you drop a couple of little drops on the end of your swab uh, with the bottle that it comes with so you need to buy a proper sensor cleaning kit like an Easy Dust drop a couple of drops on the end leave it a few seconds you can leave it 10 seconds and then you will uh, have I still got the sensor up? I can't remember. No. So you will then uh, uh, turn the sensor into the cleaning position like we did previously when I blow it. And I'm just going to show you it like this. When your sensor is exposed, you get your swab. And it, as you can see, you go up into the top right corner. But stand your sensor up, your swab up a bit. And you, you push firmly and sweep down. So you sweep down your sensor. And, that's, and then you move down to the bottom and then lean your swab and then come back up. Now, and that's basically all you do. And you, you apply a bit of pressure so you get a bit of a bend. Look, if you can see the swab, I'm getting a little bit of a bend. Don't do it like really gentle. You can give it a firm press. Not too firm, but a little, so your swab bends a little bit. And then give it a nice sweep down, down to the bottom and sweep up. That enables you to use this part of the swab when you go that way and then you use the opposite part when you go the other way and that's it you chuck that swab away then and that's that now that's a quick basic way on how to clean your sensor and what I would usually do when I've done that before I put the camera sensor sensor to, to turn off and shut it back down I would also give it an additional blow and then I would turn the back of the camera off and let the sensor get covered up again and that would be it I would have a check on the PC but to be honest even if there was still a couple of little marks on the sensor I'd leave it I won't waste loads and loads of swabs because you can waste about five or six swabs trying to get it spotless and then a couple of days later you'll get a couple of marks on it anyway so I tend to use one swab 90% of the time a quick sweep a quick sweep down that way back up and back up and that's it um, and then give it a quick blow just because sometimes there's a bit of sensor fluid just gets left just give it a quick blow put your lid on and go to your take another test shot of something um, you can download a chart so you can do it on your PC so you actually take a picture of your PC monitor and look or you can go out and do it on a nice blue sky which is what we've used here previously now unfortunately I haven't got there's, uh, there's no blue sky um, and I can't really show you the before and after on the sensor um, but to be honest I aren't even going to look because I don't need to that's all it's getting anyway um, until I start to be able to see sensors bits showing in my picture again like if I take a picture and I start to see that sensor dust is there on the picture not by shooting at f32 and looking at a plain blue sky I'll then clean it again but that's how I clean mine and I'm telling you now it won't be spotless there'll still be little marks there but it'll be 80-90% it'll be spot on and you won't see any marks unless you're shooting f32 on a blue sky anyway thanks for watching and as you can see that's very easy to do people are scared to do it but you need to use the proper swab and the proper liquid from easy dust um, and, and it's not a problem it's as easy as that